Hello everyone. Today we will discuss two more uh, applications of Bernoulli's theorem. The one of these two is very very interesting which uh, you will not find in the books in diagrammatic form. So we will discuss that also. This is how the physics and bio are related here. But before that we will discuss this blowing of the roofs during a storm. This is an application of Bernoulli's theorem as I have just told you. And what is Bernoulli's theorem? We know that by Bernoulli's theorem the sum of pressure energy per unit volume, kinetic energy per unit volume and potential energy per unit volume is constant for an ideal fluid, right? If we consider the height to be nearly constant, then we can uh, neglect this part. Right? So, our expression will be P plus half rho V square is equal to constant. Right? So, during storm we know that outside the roofs the velocity of the air is high. So, high velocity results in low pressure according to Bernoulli's theorem. So, therefore, low pressure, right? And inside we know that uh, the velocity is comparatively less. So, the pressure is more and the fluid moves from high pressure to low pressure side. So, you can say that this will be blown off because fluid moves from high to low pressure, right? So, this is the reason of blowing off of the roofs. Now, if we consider the heart attack, what is the reason? So, we consider our artery like this, right? And we know that generally the reason of the heart attack is deposition of cholesterol. Let's say that this is our cholesterol deposition. By equation of continuity, we know that area of cross section into velocity is equal to constant, right? So, here what is happening? This is the area, normal area of cross section. So, this area here is decreased. So, if A decreases, the velocity will increase. So, you can say that the velocity increases. So, if A decreases, velocity increases. Now, if we apply the Bernoulli's principle or you can say the Bernoulli's theorem, what does it say? For the same height, half rho V square is equal to constant. If we consider the same height, then if velocity is more, the pressure will be less. So, this results in less pressure. So, you can say here that here the pressure is less at this opening. So, you can say that less pressure, right? Here the pressure is more comparatively because the pressure is reduced here. And outside the arteries also, here the pressure is more, here the pressure is more. So, what will happen? First thing is the artery will collapse because there will be pressure from outside. So, this opening will again become smaller. Moreover, due to this high pressure, the blood will tend to flow towards this artery, right? So, this is coming from heart. So, already due to a smaller opening, more blood is reaching this side. Now, if the artery 
cross section again decreases due to the sidewise pressure then again there will be more inflow of blood from this side resulting in a pressure on the heart so that's way the heart will collapse right so according to bernoulli's theorem pressure plus half rho v square is constant i'm writing over here so pressure less at <coughs> narrow place this suctions more blood from heart moreover more pressure from outside the arteries <coughs> reduces the opening resulting in cumulative effect cumulative effect and heart attack occurs once again understand the cholesterol is deposited here the opening is less so the velocity is more velocity is more pressure is less so more blood is lifted from this side now the outside pressure is more so the constriction will even be smaller so more blood will again be required from this side so this will create a pressure on the heart and resulting in heart attack so that's why we can relate biology to physics so that's why i like this topic a lot and that's all for now have a nice day